everybody, I am back here with another wax video. This one is gonna be a list video. Everybody loves lists, right? Especially us girls, we love making lists. South Park did an episode on that, girls and their lists. But anyways, what this is, it's gonna be a list of my top six vendors. Why six? Because I just couldn't do five, I had to do six. My top six vendors is gonna be the first list. The second list is going to be, if I only could order from six vendors for the rest of my life, who would they be? That list does overlap slightly with my top six vendors list, but is different because some of the vendors on my top list may be like more difficult to get wax from. And you know what I'm saying? If I could only order from a limited amount of vendors for the rest of my life, I may go for somebody else whose wax I also adore, but may be slightly easier to get. Something like that. I thought I might be interested to do both. I am going to mention honorable mentions as well, um, you know, into the list because there's just so many great vendors out there. And even if they're not on my top six list, it doesn't mean that I don't completely adore them. Um, it's just, it's so hard to whittle it down. Now, obviously the list is completely subjective. It's my own opinion. Some of it is a combination of how I feel about their wax and then how I feel about them as a vendor. You know, customer service is in there. And maybe just how I feel about them as a person. If I feel like they're a good person or if I see them do good things, um, that may kind of ratchet them up on the list too. But it's still mostly about the wax and how I feel about the wax. But it kind of all goes into there. I mean, it's my own, it's my own opinion, right? Um, trying to think what else I want to say about this. Well, it was hard. It was hard to whittle it down. But like I said, there's just so many good vendors out there. There's a lot of vendors I also haven't tried enough with, enough of them yet. You guys may have noticed I may have hauled that particular vendor and you may say, well, why aren't they on the list? If I feel like I haven't melted enough wax from that vendor to really get like a good feel for the wax, they're just not going to be on the list at all because I just need to get a better feel for them and some vendors I just flat out haven't completely tried. Um, obviously I'm still pretty new to the wax world, you know, this is just my list. So let's just get hit it off here. So top six vendors for me as of today, um, which is what, like June something, which is who <laughs> could change tomorrow and could change the day after that. So the first one I want to talk about is BZ Tarts. Yay. Okay. BZ Tarts. This probably is not a surprise to a lot of you. Um, that have tried his wax or have been in the wax world. The thing I love about BZ Tarts is the wax. The shipping has always been pretty fast. I have never had a bad experience where I've had to talk to John or anything like that to assess customer service. So I don't really know necessarily what the customer service is like, but I've never heard any complaints about people with his customer service. He only does scent shot cups and I love his wax. Number one, the wax is cute. The scent shot cups are always filled completely to the brim. They are poured perfectly every single time. Great wax. The scents are always really good. And um, the throw consistently is a good throw for me. And it normally lasts like a decent amount of time. I don't notice them like crapping out on me super fast or anything like that as a general rule. Uh, as far as the restocks, he does restock in one go. And it's kind of like a first come first serve. You got to run in there and throw stuff in your cart and get the heck out. So it's not necessarily the easiest wax to get, but when I have been able to get it, I've loved everything that I've gotten. Got I say that a lot. Everything that I've gotten, everything that I've got um, from BZ Tarts. John is not, he doesn't have like a Facebook group page, so I don't really have a feel for him as a person. Some of these vendors you see on Facebook quite a bit, so you kind of get a feel for like what they're like. John is a little bit more aloof, I would say, than your typical wax vendor, but I'm totally fine with that because the wax is great. Um, he does have enough communication over his business page, I feel like, and I don't always need intimate communication with my wax vendors. I don't re really always need or even want that. Um, so I really do like BZ. So good wax, good quality, fast shipping, good throw, and that is the reason that he makes my list. I just really hope that I can get into some of his other restocks because, like I said, it's not always easy to get his wax. Okay, the second vendor, these are not in any particular order. They're kind of in alphabetical order, so it's not like BZ's is number one. I don't really have my top six in any particular order. This is probably not a surprise. Oh, fall down. Candles from the Keeping Room is definitely on my top five. This one was one that was an absolute no-brainer that Carol was going to be on there, along with you know Garfield and Miss Elf 1 and Miss Elf 2. Number one, wax is fabulous. 100% paraffin. Um, melts well in a 24 watt hot plate consistently for me consistently at least a high or a good throw great sense a whole lot of variety I just absolutely love her wax it's just never been bad for me uh, customer service is great as evidenced by the restock that she did a couple restocks ago where she kind of she came up with this mobile app for her site and um, it oversold on 
a lot of things. So what she did was she report everything. So instead of refunding everybody, which she could have done, she and her team went out of the way, report all the stuff that oversold and still got all the orders out within a very reasonable turnaround time. So I, I think that her customer service is good. She does have a Facebook um, group page and you do see her on there posting every single day. So you kind of get a sense of what she's like as a person and what her interests are. And I kind of like that aspect of it too. It, you know, it kind of feels like a candles from the keeping room family that's there. So it's a combination of great wax, oh, great prices, great amount of samples. She is probably the most generous person with a with a, a second one being the bathing garden in terms of samples. Always sends tons of samples. They seem like they're carefully considered and put in there and just, oh my goodness, the samples are crazy. Um, you know, she always goes out of her way to try to please the most of the people that she can. So sometimes she'll open on a weekend, sometimes a weekday. I'm going to go more into her opening on my second list because she's on my second list as well. And I'm going to explain a little bit of more of that why. But yeah, great wax, great customer service. There's really nothing bad I think I could say about candles from the keeping room. I don't think I've seen anybody ever say anything bad about candles from the keeping room. She's probably on a lot of people's top five or top six or top whatever list because her stuff is just so freaking awesome. So I am a huge candles from the keeping room fan and it will always continue to be because her stuff is just so, so good. Okay, the next one on my top five here is Kay's Creations. And um, I, okay, I'm gonna have to put that down. I absolutely adore Kay's Creations and she's very underrated, I think. that You hear people talk about her, but for the quality of the wax that I get out of her, her extensive scent list, she just, she just kicks ass and her turnaround time is so fast. She pours everything after she receives the order and she will consistently, it seems like, gets out the order within like three to four business days. And I've placed some pretty big orders with her and it's out really soon after that. Um, the wax is always good. It's 100% soy wax and I consistently get around like a high throw to a good throw somewhere around that area out of her wax. Her bakery stuff is out of this world. And oh my goodness, her cookie scents are good. Her cake scents are good. All of her bakery scents are good. I do like her fresh and clean scents as well, but the bakery in particular seems to be excellent. And I just, oh my goodness, she's just, she's just so amazing. Um, and if you read her story when you're on her website, you know, she did have a son that passed away like when he was a teenager and she does donate a dollar for everything that's like in the rainbow line. It could be like Rainbow Brittle or I think there's like a couple other rainbow things um, to an anti-bullying organization. So I like that she's kind of got that aspect of her business where she's giving back to a cause that she feels um, very strongly about. But man, great wax and that scent list is just amazing. Every time I read that scent list, I just want to go and buy everything. Everything is just written so incredibly well. The website is very easy to navigate. The prices, especially for the sniff and sticks, I think are very reasonable. Extremely fast turnaround time. Yeah, absolutely friggin' fabulous. Case Creations. And I love, 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 love her stuff. She was one of the other ones that was an absolute no-brainer on my top six list. I was like, oh yeah, she's on there for sure. No, no question about it at all. Okay, the next one that I'm going to put on here on my top six list is going to be Rainbow Melts. And, um... Rainbow Mouse actually is kind of an interesting, weird thing. So when I first got into wax, I was watching <coughs> videos that Kirby had put up on Lush. And then I watched all these wax videos. I was like, what the heck is that? So I started searching YouTube for wax videos. And then I ran across Christo's channel, which is clearly organized on YouTube. I started watching her videos. And then I saw that she had put up videos saying that she was opening up her own company. And I was like, really? So I found her website and then I started ordering. So I didn't order from her very first opening, but I may have ordered from the second or third opening. And I was just so impressed by the product the first time I got it. It was wrapped in this really cute striped um, wrapping paper, gift, gift wrap paper, not gift wrap, um, tissue paper. And it was packaged so incredibly well. The colors were so vibrant. The labels were so vibrant. The smell was so vibrant. It was like rainbow melts. No freaking doubt it was rainbow melts. Just everything was so colorful and clear and crisp. And the scents were just great. And... It was one of the first vendor wax I had ever gotten, I had ever got, and uh, the throw was so good. And I was kind of spoiled, I think, running across this great company at the very beginning of my wax experience because some of the under vendors I got just weren't living up to the throw that I was getting from Rainbow Mouse. And then I kind of had to figure out that Rainbow Mouse just has good throw. Not all the companies have as good a throw as Rainbow Mouse, and that's fine. But her stuff consistently throws really well. Um, I don't know what she's doing with her wax, like some kind of voodoo or something, but it's just... It's a parasoy blend, but it is just really, really good. She's got really good customer service. I remember there was one time 
she said she was going to open on a certain day. You know, she's got a full-time job, you guys. So this is just a part-time thing for her. She said she was going to open on a certain day and then she got sick and she was not able to open on that day. She opened maybe two or three days later and she put everything at 10% off. Um, because she wasn't able to open on the day that she said she was going to open on. A lot of other vendors would just say, hey, I'm sick. I'm going to do it on the other day and not offer any kind of financial incentive. But, you know, Crystal did. Her communication over Facebook is always good. She always, like, works her tail off. Um, I can't imagine, like, working a full-time job, coming home, and then, like, pouring wax until, you know, 2 in the morning. And I've seen her post before, like, really late at night slash early in the morning. So she's, like, awake and working and everything like that. I am on her custom list. Um, I cannot wait for her to get to me. So I'm going to hold off on buying from her until I can get my custom order in. There's a couple specific scents I really want. But it's a combination of great customer service, great customer communication, great wax, great packaging. Uh, I kind of love the theme, all the different shapes, the colors. She's got some really good blends like her. Um, very Berry Zucchini is really good. And a couple other really good summery blends that she has that's unique to her shop or that I really like from her shop. So yeah, rainbow melts, I am so glad I ran across them at the beginning of my wax journey because her stuff is just so freaking amazing. And I really hope that she never, or that she doesn't shut down because I know this can't be easy and there's a lot of work that goes into it. Okay, the next company that is on my top six list is Two Timing Tart. And you guys probably know I'm like one of the biggest Two Timing Tart. Actually, let me put that down. Two Timing Tart like whores out there. I absolutely love, love, love Becky's stuff. So the reason I love Two Timing Tart is very unique blends, beautiful blends, mostly kind of bedroom, spa kind of stuff. And it's the combination of the wax that I really love the wax and then just Becky herself. Her customer service is always really good. She's got clear communication on Facebook. Uh, she has a Facebook group now in addition to her business page. If you guys don't know, you can always go and join the group. But it's just clear communication. You know, if she's like, you know, like can't ship something out that day because USPS website's not working. You know, she's going to tell you or she'll kind of say, hey, I'm working on these orders. Or all the orders are going out today or this is kind of what I'm pouring. This is what I'm going to open, etc. So clear communication. And she is one of the funniest people around. Very, very witty. She's another one of the vendors that has a full time job. Um, and then she kind of does this, you know, kind of like Rainbow Melts, right? Like after she's done with her regular work. So she's not, you know, like a front porch or Candles by Victoria, like pumping out wax left and right. She's not capable. It's a one woman show. So I really do appreciate that from her. And when she does have stuff in stock, I tend to place orders because I hoard the crap out of her stuff. Now, I know a lot of people talk about Two Timing Tart on the wax boards. And I will say that if you guys want like a kick you in the face kind of throw, you may not always get that from Two Timing Tart. But her stuff in general, I would say, like, throws well enough for me in the bedroom that I can smell it and appreciate it. Some of the stuff is very strong. Some of the stuff will be a low throw, right, and everything in between. But in general, I'm I'm happy with the wax that I get from her. I love the scents. I love how they make my bedroom have this, like, sexy ambiance. I absolutely adore her stuff. So I adore her wax. I adore her customer service and communication. And I adore her as a person. All around, she makes my top six. And I will probably never stop ordering from her. On a side note, too, um, I got my entire family, my husband's family, into wax. My mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and my husband's daughter and her family. And every time I have them over, we'll talk wax, or I'll be like, hey, what do you want? I'll put a box together for you or whatever. All of them across the board love Two Timing Tart. All of them. I'll be like, hey, what vendors do you like? And every single one of them loves Two Timing Tart. So I think that that is just hilarious and I think it's because the stuff just smells so good the blends are so complex and they're beautiful don't get me wrong I love my bakery I love my cactus and sea salt I love my salty sea air scents but if you want something different you gotta go to Tommy Tart so that is the reason that she makes my top six list because I love her stuff okay rounding out my top six list is a vendor that is also relatively new but absolutely kicks ass and it is vintage chic scents so i have a collection of things here i'll put in front of the camera vintage chic scents so why do i love her stuff she's got an ever-growing always evolving scent list that she kind of she pours based on what customers are asking for so she's really working her tail off to get you what you want um and she also works a full-time job. I think she's a teacher and she does this on the side. And for the amount of wax that, she, that comes out of her house is just immense for her not doing this as like a full-time job, as a part-time job. So I love her scent list. She's got some great blends in her scent list. I love her wax. It always looks so classy. The shapes like the roses are always so cute. 
I love the shapes. They are always sophisticated. The packaging is very clean and crisp. You're never going to get anything from her that looks sloppy. You just aren't. Um, and then when she sends it to you, I think she sends it in like paper. It's not packing peanuts. So I just absolutely just love all that stuff about her company. She's, she's just amazing how she can just do all this and put it all out. Um, I'm also, she also was the one that got me into wax in the first place. You know, Vintage Chic 1927 was is still her YouTube. I think it is still her YouTube name. So she's the one that got me into wax. And then I watched a lot of her videos. And when I found out she was opening her company, it was like a no brainer for me that her stuff was going to be good. The throw that I get from her stuff can vary, but in general, it's probably like around a high throw, maybe to like a good throw, like in general. And the stuff that throws really well is just, oh, it is just so good. And in general, um, the stuff ever since she tweaked the wax formula, I think, has just been like significantly better. So it's a combination of, I think Kirby seems like she's a great person, great customer service, great communication, great wax, great sense. Oh, also on her customer service, there was one time I placed an order, three orders at one opening. And one of my boxes didn't ship. I didn't contact her about it until the other boxes had arrived. I waited a couple of days after that and I was like, oh, I should probably contact her. So I contacted her and she said, hey, like the box didn't ship out. Um, it was a mistake on the website, but I have like, she had everything in her inventory ready to go with the exception of two, um, three packs of like Surfer Girl. And she said, hey, please either choose like a Blossom bag or four three packs in order to replace the two Surfer Girls I don't have. So. And then she got that other box out look at these split. I had a click and ship that night. The box went out the next day. So her customer service was really great. I mean, that was a great experience. I don't care if the box didn't ship out the first time. Stuff happens. It's not a big deal. But the fact that she really was willing to like give me extra wax and go out of her way and was very prompt in um, rectifying the situation is, is really what I really liked about her company. So I will always be a customer of Vintage Chic Sense. Her stuff is just really, really good. Okay, now let me talk about the honorable mentions. Okay, the first uh, company I want to mention as an honorable mention that may not necessarily be in my top six as of today, as of this moment. I mean, keep in mind, even if there's a wax vendor that's not in this honorable mentions, doesn't mean I don't absolutely adore them, but these are just kind of the ones I was going through my... I keep a documented wax spreadsheet of everything I've melted, and right now it's got like 650 entries. So this morning I was going through that spreadsheet and I was trying to see like what vendors have I melted a lot from, what vendors does it seem like I really like their stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so I might have missed something. I kind of put the list together this morning. I've been thinking about it for a while, but I may have missed somebody. But the first vendor I want to mention on there that I also I really love their wax um, is Front Porch. You guys know it's just, it's easy to get, it's good wax. Um, I think as long as you melt it as soon, like maybe within the six month point, I've gotten consistently good throw from it. I think as it ages out, it tends to lose a little bit of the throw, but extensive scent list, um, you know, ready to ship. I definitely appreciate that about her company. Free shipping on the website, even though the cost of the shipping is kind of built into the tarts because the tarts are a little bit more expensive than your average vendor because it's free shipping. But anyways, I'm not gonna go into it a whole heck of a lot, but you guys, everyone knows Front Porch. And I still really like Front Porch's stuff. Another one I want to talk about that I absolutely love is the Bathing Garden. If you want beautiful clamshells along with complex, um, exciting, interesting scents, the Bathing Garden is, is the way to go. I The throw I get from the Bathing Garden is not as strong as the throw I get from a lot of the other vendors. It's more like, she kind of, to me, is more like um, you have to really appreciate the scent. And it may not necessarily kick you in the face, but if you can smell it and... You can sit back and really appreciate the beauty and the complexity in the sense and the beauty of the wax. I think that's kind of really like bathing, the bathing garden's niche for me. And some of her stuff does throw her out, don't get me wrong. But I mean, it's just, it's just so sophisticated. She kind of just got that niche along with her sugar scrubs. I absolutely love her stuff. So the bathing garden, um, she definitely is one of my honorable mentions. Another honorable mention, and this is like a relatively new company, is 30 Street Crafts. Uh, run by Jessica Kate. So her stuff has consistently thrown well for me. And for her being brand new, she's just knocking it out of the park. She's actually going to open up for her third restock here soon. And um, she's just, I think, started a website. So for those of you guys that don't like, you know, having to do an order where you have to like email it or something, the website should make it so much easier. She has some really good blends that she puts together. She's got a nose for this wax. Her chunks and cameos are just perfect. The chunks in particular are always so good. Look at that. It's like dual colored chunks in there. Uh, the packaging is always immaculate. The throw has been good. Yeah, so 30 Street Crafts, she's an up and comer and I think she's gonna come up fast because her stuff is good and the people are catching on. There's a lot of talk about her on the wax boards and everybody knows that she's got good stuff. Uh, the next vendor that's an honorable mention for me 
is um, Ava's Country Cupboard. I get consistently high to good throw from Ava's Country Cupboard Wax. She's got a really good scent list, ready to ship for the most part, and I can almost always go on and get something that I like. She does run sales periodically, like either maybe free shipping or like 10 to 15% off, everything like that. So I find the wax is decently priced, decent cost for shipping. She's got some really great scents. There's some Ava's Country Cover that just blows my mind and that are like some of my absolute top scents that I love completely. So yes, I absolutely love Ava's Country Cover. She's very underrated, I think, as well. She's a little bit more under the radar, but I mean, her stuff is just... Her wax is good, really, really good. And I get mostly bakery, fruity stuff from her. I have gotten a couple bedroomy type scents, but when I think of Ava's Country Covered, I think more bakery, more fruit, that kind of stuff. But yeah, she's got some really good wax that I absolutely adore. Okay, another one here, and this is a rebag, but this is Tiffany Candles. Yeah, Tiffany Candles, sorry, the camera is not gonna really capture this very well. Tiffany Candles, I really love her stuff, and in particular, I love her loaves and the chunklets. Um, the scallops and everything, the teddy tarts, I do I do like, but it seems like the loaves and the the bigger kind of items, the throw seems to always be a little better from those than I can get from some of the other stuff. Like consistently good throw from the loaves, the chunklets, things like that. She's got some really good blends. She restocks this stuff and ready to ship um, fairly consistently. And I, I just really like her. She seems like a really good person. She's fairly active on her Facebook group page. You can kind of get a sense that she's like, you know, providing good customer service. She's got clear communication. She's on there. She's answering questions. She's pouring wax like a crazy lady. <laughs> so Tiffany Candles, yeah, she's one of the first vendors that I ran across when I started on this wax journey. And she will always be um, probably one of the vendors that I go to. Okay, another uh, vendor that I really also like that is in my honorable mention is Super Tarts. Brandy is just funny. She's got a wicked sense of humor. She it has clear communication with her customers. I really like how she's changed the ordering process around so people can get her wax. And I think that we all like really appreciate um, that aspect of what she's doing. And her wax, it has a consistently high to good throw. She's got some really exciting blends. There are some blends that I've gotten from Super Tarts that have like started me on a path of trying to find other blends similar to it because it was so awesome. Um, from her and I think she's just got a knack for the blending and her her theme is so cute with the superheroes and everything like that So yeah super tarts. I really cannot say enough good things about her. I really really love her stuff Okay, the last vendor that's on my honorable mention list is rose girls and um, I I haven't melted a whole heck of a lot of rose girls I am still melting through a lot of the stuff that I've gotten but the stuff that I have from Rose Girls, they have some really good blends. I absolutely love their chunks. Their chunks are very pretty, and the names are always so cute. Like, I love, like, the Mario theme that came out earlier. So it's a combination of I really like the wax. The wax smells good. The wax looks good. Um, there is pretty clear communication on Facebook. There's a couple times I've, like, asked, I think, Jenny a question on Facebook or I've private messaged her, and it's always come back to me, like, really fast, very fast responses, everything like that. The turnaround time, obviously, as you guys know, for Rose Girls is long. So if you're not willing to wait, you know, like four to six months for your stuff, then just don't order. But I'm definitely willing to wait for the Rose Girls. Um, the throw that I get from Rose Girls, it does vary. Sometimes it's like a little lower. Sometimes it's super high. Sometimes it's in the middle. So I would say that in general, I can get at least like on average a high throw out of my Rose Girls. And I do also, I've also heard that their stuff like lasts a really, really long time. Like I've heard of <coughs> people mounting Rose Girls like, a year, year and a half after they've gotten the wax and that it's still throwing. So that part also really excites me because I've got a fairly large Rose Girls stash and it's going to take me a while to get through it. So yeah, Rose Girls, um, definitely, definitely good stuff there. Okay, so now I want to go into a list that's if I could only order from six vendors for the rest of my life, who would they be? And you guys will see it does correspond a little bit more with my top six vendor list, but I want to talk about why they would make my this particular list versus the top six vendor list. So let's see if I could hit this a little bit faster. The first one here that I would order from would be Candles by Victoria. I really like Candles by Victoria stuff and um, her wax used to be harder. These are like in the original, like harder kind of um, wax formula where if you melted in a 24 watt hot plate, it didn't consistently melt all the way. So sometimes it would be hardened wax along the edges. A lot of people would say you need to cut the scent shots in half and then it'll all completely melt, etc. She has recently changed to a softer formula, I think for all of her wax. I put it in order with her. I probably won't get it for another couple weeks, but I'm really interested to see that. Her stuff consistently throws well consistently and she's got a jai freaking enormous scentless it's probably one of the biggest scentless out there 
craziness. And everything that I'm out from her has always smelled good. I mean, the spa scents are great. The bakery scents are great. They throw well. I mean, it's kind of like, I don't know why we don't talk about her more, I guess, than we do because her wax is really good. Um, and she pours everything after she receives it. But for the most part, you can go in there and order anything you want, anytime. The turnaround time may vary depending on if she's running a sale or whatever. But the reason she would make this particular list is because I can order anything I want anytime. The big theme for this particular list are vendors that are easily accessible and I can get wax from and I can get what I want for the most part when I want, which makes it a slightly different list. So Candles by Victoria, she would definitely go on there as one that I want to order from. Um, the next one I'd want to order from, I already talked about, was Kay's Creations. And the reason for Kay's Creations is, once again, she's one of my top five vendors, hands down. She's got great sense, great customer service, seems like a great person. But she's also got an amazingly fast turnaround time for anything you want to order. So I could wake up like almost any day of the year and say, I want to place an order with Kay's Creations, make the order, and within probably a week and a half, I'm going to have the box in my house with my order. And that's amazing. And if, for me to be able to find a vendor that I love their wax as much as I do, combined with the fact that I can get it almost any time I want, is definitely what puts her on this list. It's a complete no-brainer. So Kay's Creations is definitely, definitely on that list. The next vendor that would be on this list, who's another vendor who I completely adore. See, like, once again, some of these vendors didn't show up on the, the previous list, but it doesn't mean that I don't adore them. And even if they're not in this video, it doesn't mean that I don't adore them as well. Uh, is attended to Creations because she's got a pretty extensive list of scents. When I think of tended to Creations, I think of mostly, like, clean, green, floral, spa type of scents. She does have bakery scents, but that's not normally what I go to tended to Creations for. Um... Now, her stuff is always very easily accessible. It's always, like, well-stocked. You can place your order. The turnaround time is always really good. And I would need to put her on here because <clears throat> I love melting, like, those kind of spa bedroomy scents. And I wanted to have a couple vendors on here that I could get, like, spa bedroomy scents, like, all the time. And she would definitely be one of them. She does have some good bakery scents, but she doesn't do, like, the crazy blends. Like, you're not going to find, like... Apple, cinnamon, pumpkin, butter, sugar, cookie, zucchini, ice cream, dough, donut bread, <laughs> you know, like from 10 digit creations. They're mostly like single notes, but the single notes are maybe like the very simple blends that you can get from her. I think are really good. Her wax is also super cheap. Um, it's very plain. It's always uncolored. It's probably some of the most reasonably priced wax that I've seen out there. But yeah, the fact that I can get her stuff anytime I want and it kind of rounds out that bedroomy kind of stuff that I want would definitely be one of the reasons why she would be on my list of uh, vendors that I want to order from. Going on with the bedroomy stuff, Tutami Tart would have to be on this list. So my bedroomy, spa, bathroomy scents would have to be fulfilled by Tutami Tart and then 10 Digit Creations. Um, Becky doesn't always have everything stocked on Tutami Tart, but she does stock frequently enough that I feel like I would be able to get most of what I wanted. And when she does have it in stock, I could probably place like a bigger order and kind of hoard it for a little bit. So I think 10 Digit and Two Timing Tart together would complete like the bedroomy kind of stuff in the house, along with Candles by Victoria, because she's got some really good bedroomy stuff too. But these two, I would say, are mostly bedroomy type stuff for sure. Um, the next vendor that I would want to order from would be Vintage Chic Scents. So Vintage Chic Scent starts getting into vendors that are slightly harder to order from. You guys know she'll restock like every two to three weeks, right? But she always gives a time frame when she restocks. So as long as you're available during that time frame and you're like refreshing like crazy, you know the order that she's going to restock in. It normally goes alphabetically, I think, within those categories. It's fairly easy enough if you plan it out ahead to kind of strategically get what you want. You may not get everything. But you can kind of figure it out. As also, especially if you're willing to place multiple um, orders within an opening, you can kind of like check out when you have certain stuff in your cart, come back in as she's stocking and get more stuff. Her stuff is also really good. It spans everything from bakery to bedroom scents and everything in between. So she would be like a good all-around vendor that I could order from. And she's always got just some new great scent coming out or some great odor scents that are coming back into stock that I feel like I would always be able to get some really good stuff from Vintage Shake Scents. And I figured out her openings well enough that even though she's not open all the time, I would feel confident that I'd be able to order from her like during the days or the times that I really want to order and be able to get an order in. So she would also be on my order or my list of vendors that I would want to order from all the time. Okay, the last vendor that I would put on there that I would want to order from all the time, or if I could only order from them, would be Candles from the Keeping Room. And the thing about Candles from the Keeping Room is that her openings are a little harder a little harder to get on, but there's kind of like 
a little pattern to them, like if it's a weekend or if it's a day. And the time is kind of easy enough to figure out because Carol is an early bird. But all of us on the West Coast, we're whining, like when she opens, like when she's awake, you know, at like three in the morning, I think Central Time or no, she's in Pennsylvania, like Eastern Standard Time. Then we're all sleeping on the West Coast and we can't get to the openings and we can blah, 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 blah. So Carol actually, she consistently has been opening around the same time within like a couple hours. Um, and I am not a late sleeper on the weekends. I will like lounge around, but for the most part on the weekends, like in California, I'm up by like around 5.30, 6 o'clock on a weekend. And I'm like checking Facebook. So I have almost consistently, I haven't ordered from every opening, but I've almost consistently seen her open at every opening. Like including her last one, I saw her post that she was opened like a minute after she opened, um, like it was on the weekend. So just because I tend to be like an early bird myself and Carol seems to be opening around that same time frame that I check Facebook, I would say, it just seems to kind of jive. I've, I know there's a lot of people that say she's impossible to order from, they can't get an order in. I don't know. For some reason, I just always seem to see it. Um, I don't really have a problem with the openings. You just know it's normally in the morning. Uh, she'll normally toggle between weekends and weekdays. And as long as you're kind of checking Facebook around the time, you can catch it. Uh, she normally also stays open for about an hour. It's consistently been 50 minutes to an hour. She's open. She'll accept like 200 orders, close down, get all the wax out. And about seven to 10 business days later, she'll reopen again. So she reopens enough throughout the year that I feel like I would be able to catch her openings to get what I want. And when I do catch her openings, I tend to place like bigger orders. So that way I'm not stressing out about missing an opening later. So I figure sometimes if you can catch it and you're getting an order in, just get in the order, get in a good order. And then like, you know, sit out for a while. Then that way I'm not like, oh my goodness, like I got to catch this opening. I got to catch this opening. So that's the reason I would go for candles from the keeping room. For me, it's just not a problem to catch those openings. So, so this would be my six vendors if I can only order from them for the rest of my life. I feel would be completing my collection. So Candles by Victoria, she has everything. You can get it anytime. Kay's Creations has everything. You can get it anytime, but I really love her bakery stuff. Tended to Creations, you can get anything, almost anytime, but I really love their spa bedroomy stuff. Vintage Chic Scents, a little harder to get from, but I figured out her openings, and I've normally not had a problem trying to order stuff from her openings. Um, great Scents. Candles from the Keeping Room, Great Scents. Once again, she only opens periodically, but I've kind of figured out how to get into her opening, so it's really, it's been easier for me. And Two Timing Tart, who she doesn't always restock. There's not always a whole lot of stuff in stock, but she restocks um, well enough, and I talked to Becky, like, enough that, um, I think like if I, I don't think there would be a problem like with me having enough two timing tart in stock and this would complete out the bedroomy stuff. So everything, everything, mostly bedroom, well, mostly bakery, mostly bedroom, everything, everything bedroom for the most part is how I would treat like all of these vendors. So this list was kind of a little bit exciting for me. And um, so if you guys want to comment down below with either who are your favorite vendors or if you like could only order from some for the rest of your life, who would they be, etc. Like I said, this one is a little different because there are some vendors that I absolutely love that would not be on this list because they are just, it's too hard to get the wax from. And I wouldn't want to put a vendor like in the six if I didn't feel confident that I could get their wax when I wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Because it's just, you know what I'm saying, right? This is the easier to get stuff, at least for me. All right, you guys. So I know I'm a little bit overly excited in this video, but I hope that you enjoyed watching this. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.